got for us? What bait did you end, Johnny? Deep sea fishing. Um, I am going to choose a lovely film Ooh, lovely. Um, called Growing Up Smith, which is going to be released uh, February 3rd, PG-13. Mm-hmm. About 102 minutes, perfect time there for a film. Um, this Growing Up Smith sounds... Uh, like a slice of apple pie in Ooh, America, yeah. Right? But <laughs> nothing American than apple pie. Yeah, it is. Um, it's a movie with heart. You can tell, and it's um uh, about a 1979 in the 70s. A um Indian family is uh moved to America, and they're just mm-hmm. trying to fit in. And yeah. it's, it's about a, a boy just trying to fit in into America. Uh, it looks funny. And it's got heart. And it's hard to tell in a trailer if something has heart. It's like we brought up earlier. Does something have chemistry uh, off of a trailer? Do people have chemistry? Can you tell chemistry in a trailer? And we said yes. We can. We can. Because we're good. How many times do we got to say that? Trained eyes. We are trained (laughs) eyes. Yeah. Um, But then can you tell if a movie has heart based off of a trailer? Mm. The right amount of heart. Because sometimes... Mm. Like Collateral Beauty, which also was up there for a lot of Razzies. Um, was it really? I yeah. missed that one. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 well, I, it was up there for like the worst cast. Oh. Yeah, the worst ensemble. Interesting. There was a category in the Razzies too. Don't mean to digress, but there was one that I like. That we should do it for the premiums, maybe a copy or someone of it. But I, it's kind of, we thought of it before, but it was like best sequel, remake, unnecessary one. I like that. It's a great category. Yes. It's a great category. It's a great category. Fantastic we category. Should, we should add it to the Yeah, we should just, just copy sure. it. And like, yeah, you know, we're doing it too. Yeah. Deal with it. Um, but just, does something, back to us, does something have heart based off a trailer? This is a good Can question. you tell if something has heart? I think you can. I think this is like the right amount of uh, self-deprecation mixed with um, observational humor. And it's got Jason Lee in it. Jason Lee? Jason oh, Lee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. The, uh, the neighbor. I forgot. Yes. I was like, Jason Lee. Yeah, you're right. Um, I want to make, I have to bring up a point with this, um, that The Simpsons had a very similar tone, a very similar episode to this, where yeah. Apu, Apu, yeah. Um, he had an arranged marriage when he was a kid. Okay. And he fell in love with another woman. And he had to tell his parents, like, oh, I already got married. And it's not the same thing. It just reminded me of the story. that, And he told his parents that he already married an American woman, so they came out. And then he... Uh, they found out it was the marriage was a sham, so he had to marry to the real woman, and she ended up being beautiful, and they were happily ever after. Yeah. So I'm very interested to see if there's going to be a similar passage. That it's not the same story at all. No, I mean, like, no, no. He no. has. It seems like he has an arranged marriage, and he's in love with a. He's in love with a a, a white woman, a white girl. So it's it's there's a similar play, but it's not the same. It's it's different, but it definitely like the characters, the the tone. That's my favorite thing about this movie. The, the music in this it had a very like upbeat, like sure. fun tone. Not like it's a jolly good family movie. No, it just like felt like, like uh, positive, but not, um, not like a dog's purpose positive. You know what I mean? Like not like, well, look at the puppy dogs. Like there's, there's, this is a lighthearted movie, but there is some like some real humor in it. You For know sure. What I mean, yeah. So I enjoyed it. I thought it was, I felt great when I saw it. I thought it was well shot. Well looked, uh, acting looks solid. You, you know, throwing a couple, uh, uh, names in there that you know, and but you star a couple no-name actors. And yeah, it has some, and it, it, yeah. the the expected budget's only like two million dollars for this, and that's this, great. This is perfectly what I like about uh, what's going on in cinema right now. There's a lot of smaller uh, slices of life that that are happening, which is great. Um, this reminds me of like what ABC's doing with their primetime programming with okay. like with Blackish and Off the Boat, um, and they have like yeah, each, they have yeah, each yeah, one yeah, yeah, for yeah, like yeah. a different. Um, ethnicity or uh, culture going on, and it's it's it's, it's kind of like all their perspectives. So this is kind of like a movie version of what ABC's doing, uh, which is really working for ABC. Like Blackish is like kicking butt, and the real so is, and then uh, what's the off the um, boat? Off the boat. Yeah, yeah those you said that already. They're, yeah, those yeah those are uh, ABC's been doing well with the programming recently, or like at least ratings wise, and continuing on seasons, which makes everyone happy. Yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, I think. There's this brings in another what's popping topic about you know bringing in more of the Asian community to star in movies. I mean, and just not even like star, but just be in more movies because you know like I was just in L.A. I saw a lot of Asian people when I was out in L.A. and 
you know, and that's real. You know what I'm saying? But people like white people don't always just want to see white people. People like want to be, you know, a little bit into reality. I'm not saying that uh, we have to have all of the movies or have a controversy when there is an all white cast. But like when movies like this come around, it it it, it, it catches your eye a little bit, and it, and it has a a tone that everyone can enjoy. Yeah, you know? and it really is. So, and this is like a, a ton of. Um different actors in there. Uh, Jason Lee is the only one that I know, and that's pathetic. That's great. <laughs> because there is uh, Ronnie Ak- Akurata, uh, who is uh, Smith, and he, that kid is, uh, he just, he's just like, hilarious. He it's looks funny. Face, yeah, yeah. facial impression. I don't mean that like the kid's weird looking. Like he look, he just like, has a funny. He it, he kind of reminded acting. me a little bit of like a, the Simon Birch kid, like with the, yeah, like the, yeah. the face, not not like the size thing, but like their face. Like he can do a lot with the face, the adorable and, and glasses. Yeah, yeah, and just like when you're young and just awkwardly look, awkward looking. Uh, Purna Jaga, Janastrum, Bahastir, Batnaga, and Ashta Batnagar. Look at you doing the Indian names, I got buddy. Them all. Woo! Take four you to for four. Work on that. <laughs> no, I'm sure I got them all horribly wrong, and I apologize. Um, these, Out of all the names all, and uh, nationalities, yeah, all, the, the all names. of the actors look great, and yeah. uh, I'm glad that, that this movie's coming out. And you know, as we go forward, I'm sure we're gonna recognize these faces. I will recognize these faces yeah. more because I'll be like, oh, they were growing up Smith. Boom. Right. Absolutely. And I will hopefully learn their names, and hopefully it will come on Netflix so we can see it because it seems like this will be. Pretty limited released, but it yeah. is coming out February 3rd, which is coming up. And, you know, if uh, you're tired of the Oscar buzz or if you just want to wait to just keep your eye on it, that's what we do on the show, just uh, put it in the back of your mind. And they're like, oh, yeah, these two geniuses who predicted the Razzies and Oscars recommended this movie. And now I'm going to go see this. So, yes. That's how it works. Let's move on. Let's go. The part two of Trailer Bait, my trailer. Let's do it. Boom. 